This is uh, Vikingo in mm, another video. Uh, this is uh, Maestro cooking ayahuasca. What are you drinking tonight? It's a beautiful retreat center. We have the family here. <laughs> the video. The video. Yeah, video. Hello. <laughs> 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 yeah, have a great ceremony. Shamans. Uh, Shamans is very beautiful. And uh, do canto mismo. Bonito. Yeah. Do gonna toma hoy? Ayahuasca? Yeah. Yeah. Muy bien. Bueno. Escuchar cantar? Yeah. Muy bien. Muy bien. Voy a cantar okay. con, con, tu, con tu chica. Con tu chica. Okay. Yeah. Sí, sí. Yeah. She gonna sing. Beautiful. Si quiere para tomar ayahuasca okay. y cantar juntos con usted. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. record the uh, singing tonight for the ayahuasca. Mariana con ayahuasca. Mariana. Mi voz muy, mucho, minuto. Y para cantar, Mariano, Mariano. Mariano. suave. Suave. Wow. Ya vas a escuchar cuando. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo es esa sí, panza? Sí. Ah, bueno, bonito. Come la panza de los lados. ¿Cómo tú nos pones en baile? 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 my place in Iquitos and then we could take the uh, boat ride we could take the slow boat and we come down the river the river over here and what we do is we go down the Ukeali to uh, uh, past Tamishaco and all the way to uh, ¿Cómo se llama? You, you, uh, ¿Cómo se llama? The, the village the, the village where do where we go in the barco? Yunari, uh Goma Sayama? Bangor. 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 And uh, we'll give you directions how to get there and then we pick you up on the boat. We'll pick you up on a boat like this or we'll have a different boat. And we just go for another forty five minute ride and come over here to this beautiful retreat. And I'm going to show you in the later videos of all the rooms, how beautiful. And the Maloka, I'll show you the videos. And this is the family here. And we have room for many, many tourists. And the people who worked before here uh, closed the website down, said this place doesn't exist, but it does exist. And uh, the other American left and uh, ruined it for them and close this place down and we're going to help these people by bringing uh, you guys over here who want to come far in the jungle and uh, see such a great beautiful place and this could be my first night drinking ayahuasca with them and the maestro here today showed me many plants many good healing plants what cures cancer HIV uh, diabetes there's so much healing what, what can be done with so many different plants and uh, and we're trying on uh, people who are here and we're going to keep you updated and uh, if you know people with cancer, diabetes, depression, addictions, uh, we have many, many different plants here that will heal you and uh, don't listen to the pharmaceutical companies, get away from them and go all natural as there's many beautiful and it's just a box from uh, certain trees. They mix as egg mixtures for uh, in the ayahuasca for healing. Como se llama eso? Ayuma. Ayuma.
This is called uh, Ayuma, and it's a very powerful spirit. They put as an ad mixture in the ayahuasca, and uh, it's supposed to be a headless giant, and uh, he uh, helps and protects you. And they got other spirit plants they put in there as doctors to heal you while you have your visions. And uh, it's going to be a great night, I think. So I will let you know tomorrow after we drink uh, the ayahuasca and tell you the visions I've had and uh, see what other people had too. I'll ask them and video them. And uh, I think you guys would enjoy to come out here in the jungle. Uh, at my place, I'm 15 minutes from the airport in Nikitos. And we can pick you up at the airport. You can stay at my place. You can do a ceremony with us over there. We have, uh, I have different shamans and, uh, where you could see how you like the ayahuasca and how it works. And then when you need to go further down and go further for further treatment, we bring you over here and you get the healing and more secluded and you don't have other people bothering you and you come out to the jungle but if you don't have a schedule like that where you could stay here longer you could also stay at our place in Iquitos and uh, you know, do ayahuasca but it would be great if you could spend a little more time spend at least three days here to come to make it worth your while and uh, if you have less than three days you could also speak to us at uh, Long Island Viking at gmail.com you can email me and the information will be below the video and this is a, a mother shaman who's been here for a long time healing many people and that's the maestro cooking the ayahuasca and uh, we're gonna get mucho mucho personas yeah <laughs> And we got more people in the Maloka and the other rooms over there getting ready for tonight's ceremony. And uh, I think we're going to have a great, great ceremony. And we're going to help build this place up. And also, too, is I want to build a boat and uh, like a Viking ship. And they said I could leave it here and put like a uh, faster speedboat where we could pick you up and bring you down and have a tour so that will be in the future coming as I find a boat builder to build a, I think it would be pretty exciting taking a, a viking ship and coming down the Amazon with the shields on the side and the dragon head and, but uh, you know we'll modify it a little bit so it has an engine so we could go a little faster and get here but, uh, it would be beautiful and you get to see the beautiful scenery of the river and coming all the way here, come down the Amazon, and then all the way to here. I'll show you the other rooms as it's coming. Uh, over here is the kitchen. Over there is where they do the cooking. And over here, we have the kitchen. And you can get water, food. Uh, it's a little dark now. It's getting nighttime. But, uh, we got water, bread, uh, we make all different types of fruit salads, we get fish, as you see over there, uh, we, we, any, anything you want, you you know, you say what kind of food you want to eat, and we'll prepare it for you, and have the foods before we get here, we have coffee too, we can have coffee in the morning, and, and over here is the kitchen where we sit and eat, over here is the maloka, I'm taking you towards the Maloka. Here's the Maloka. Nice, beautiful Maloka. And they have what's nice about this Maloka. It's uh, nice mosquito proof. And Maloka has hammocks where you could sleep in. Uh, during the ayahuasca, it has rocking chairs where you're comfortable to sit down. And you also have beautiful. Uh, mattress for certain people who can't sit that long and want to want to lay down on a mattress and as you can see it's a little dark but we got the rocking chairs the hammocks and this is where we're gonna have our ceremony tonight and tomorrow 
And here's the bathrooms over here. It's a little dark. I'll take a, another video tomorrow to show you more of the bathroom, which is great. It's right in the Maloka. And uh, thanks to uh, my best friend here, Peter Henikitos, <laughs> who introduced me to these people, his shaman. That's where he learned his... Uh, uh, he learned... Uh, his Icaros, and he's also been in India as a monk for 15 years, and uh, so we'll be taking people over here for tours to get them to do their diets, and they have their private rooms where I've built some videos. And what's the uh, the name of the uh, the port where we first come? Genaro Herrera. Around, Araldo. Genaro. Genaro. Genaro Herrera. Herrera. Okay. In, in the Ukayali River. Mm -hmm. And we could either, you know, we take you either from Nalta on a speedboat, or we go from Berlin and we could take you on a slow boat. It takes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little longer, but you get to sleep in a hammock and get to see the whole river. It's a nice slow ride, or we could take the speedboat and be here in two hours. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we could take you here to a secluded area. And you'll see on our website, we'll have more information, more pictures. And everything like that as this will be on YouTube and then from YouTube click on the link below and you'll head to our website and uh, you come see a beautiful retreat and these are true shamans as you're going further out into the jungle they're true quarenderos we don't even call them shamans they're quarenderos and maestros right mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. can you say anything more uh, what you would like to add Come see for yourself. <laughs> right? And the diets and the curing, because yeah. you've been here yeah. so long and know these people. Mm. And, uh, beautiful place, right? Yeah. Beautiful rooms. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, mm. I mean, I've been all over Iquitos. I've been to many places. And uh, to me so far, this is the number one best place. So I think everybody should come and check out for themselves. And, you know, if it's your first time drinking ayahuasca, you're scared, and you got a time schedule, come to us first, drink by us. We're 15 minutes from the airport. We pick you up, and then uh, we work from there. We could work your schedule out. We work with you, and we bring you out here. And this is a great place to get away from people where you're not in the village. And the village is good to get food and stuff real quick, and, you know, but then you want to get away to do your diets and come out here to a place like this to be secluded and have your tranquility and you know see the beautiful jungle and the maestro will go around we could have him show you all the medicinal plants which you want to learn about and uh, all different types of healings all right veronica hola hola how do you like this place mm, i like especially the food and the food <laughs> it's a beautiful place yeah it's awesome it's awesome and you can take the boat and ride up and down in the river, yeah. alone, alone, being in the silence with all the animals. Mm. Yeah, Veronica and just, birds. she just took a nice boat ride by herself, took her canoe out, and seen some beautiful monkeys. Yeah, and, and took birds, some pictures, eagles. birds, right? No anaconda, no boa. <laughs> no boa? Uh, no maybe piranha. next time. <laughs> <laughs> just birds and monkeys. And, and it was beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah. silence. And this place is awesome. And it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then I talked to the people here, and I said, uh, for you fisher, fishermen out there and fisherwomen, <laughs> want to go fishing? Mm -hmm. You get some fishing poles, and uh, they said you could catch some big fish. So uh, if you like to go fishing, we catch a fish, and then uh, we could eat them at night. If you want to eat them or let them loose, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So now I'm going to show you the rooms. And uh, thanks, guys, for uh, the interview. And we'll have more videos later. <laughs> now I'm going to go down, show you the other rooms. Okay. Hold on. This is Vanessa. Okay. I'm doing a video for YouTube. <laughs> For the place, <laughs> okay. For personas that they can assist. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll bring in. This is so beautiful over here. These are the rooms. Yeah. Ruta, sí, sí. Yeah. Okay, gracias. I'm just gonna make some foods and fruits. You can pick even your own fruits off the trees. These are like uh, apples. They look like apples, but they taste so good. They're so sweet. Oh, such a good taste. So we got so many rooms, like over here. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful rooms. And you get your own room. Uh, they got double beds, uh, single beds. But, uh, you get a double bed, it's okay. You can put your stuff on it. And it's in here. Hopefully we're getting enough light still. I should have filmed earlier today. But here's a bed, here's our room, you know, and it's dark to go, uh, but, uh, it's a beautiful room, and we got a closet over here, it's a little dark, I'm sorry about that, I'll do another filming, you'll see part two, and you get to know more, and here are the bathrooms, you know, uh, yeah, we got the sink over here, it's a little dark, uh, you get your own sink in your own room, yeah. And you got the bathrooms over here, the sinks like that in every room. You can brush your teeth, have water, everything. Just, they got a filter on the uh, water tanks I looked. And uh, they got showers here. They're hooking up the showers. And uh, these are the bathrooms. Nice, it's nice and clean. They clean them out. They got a box and they clean them out every day. Very good people, clean people. Uh, Nice bathrooms, doesn't stink, very beautiful. <laughs> beautiful bathroom. Uh, what do we got here? This is uh, the new place they started building. I think they'll be putting, I don't know what they're going to be doing with this room. Over here, we got double upstairs, and then we got downstairs. And over here, it's such a beautiful place. It's, they had many people, and these more rooms over here. They started building these new rooms, and the American, the two guys who are here, it's the staircase to go up to the second floor. And the American, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, it's not really my business, but I guess. He just took off and did their website and said this place doesn't exist no more, but it does exist. And, uh, you see, you know, great people. It's, uh, such friendly people here and very good, good hearted people. These are more rooms I heard that are newly done, but I guess they, uh, still working on it. And, uh, you got, you know, privacy when you want to do your diets and be uh, in solitude, you know, and just people could bring food to you and if you need to rest. And if you're detoxing or, you know, you want to stay away from other people and have food brought to you, that's no problem. And uh, you can detox and, you know, you want to stay away from other people and don't collect their energy. And, uh, to get your strength back and build up your energy and be a little bit secluded. Nice. Look how nice, beautiful two-story there. And then you got so many, so many medici medicinal plants in the jungle over here. It's, uh, he was teaching me so many new plants. I mean, I've, I've known so much from being in Iquitos, but over here there's so many different plants. Uh, Dr. Caspi and Oh my God, so many new plants I've learned. I gotta start writing them down. It's unbelievable. The cures I'm hearing, what they can do is they cure people who have HIV that all of a sudden within a month or two, they don't have HIV no more. Uh, there's plants here that cure cancer. They drink it, drink it and they do the ayahuasca and work with the shamans and the, and the uh, doctor spirits and they enter the spirit world curing cancer and all these uh, different uh, problems people have been having and it's unbelievable so 
we got a test subject who has HIV and we're going to keep you updated and we got you know reports to show that they're uh, positive and I'm going to show on pictures and photos you know positive and then we're going to show you in, in uh, two months from now or a month from now we'll do more testing and uh, see uh, HIV if the levels drop I don't know too much about it but you know levels drop or to totally disappear I want to see you know if it's uh, true as I've been hearing you know many people come here and get cured from HIV and this is something uh, if, if I had HIV or cancer I'd try anything to get cured so this is something for uh, you to think about and uh, you know please contact me if you know you got depression um, yeah for me I had a bad uh, drug problem in the past and uh, I did ayahuasca in San Pedro, which we would do here too, San Pedro, we do San Pedro at my place, also in Iquitos, and we do ayahuasca, and uh, I could show you how to get off of heroin, cocaine, any type of addiction you have, and uh, you'll never even have the desire to think about using again, um, you're totally mentally, the spirits work with you, and uh, it could be one cup, it could be three cups, and I guarantee you by the third cup, you will never, ever touch the drug again. But you got to work with it. It's not a magic pill. You have to work also with it. And it makes it so much easier. I couldn't believe it. I went to so many rehabs in my lifetime. And uh, I am totally, totally serious. I went to so many rehabs. I've been in and out of prison. And now... Uh, I have totally changed and my life's been changed and I've been clean for almost five years now and uh, I don't have the desire to ever pick up or touch heroin again, you know, uh, it was a bad addiction, it was a circle, I couldn't break free of that circle and it was just non-stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and there's a video. No, there's a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah see. Sí. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you, know, you guys uh, who have an addiction, yeah. I can guarantee you that on my word. Uh, any okay, any questions? Okay, gracias. Okay, gracias. I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, yeah, so, uh, um, you know, seeing how beautiful it is here and everything like that, I tell you from first hand, for me, for addictions, uh, yes, it does work. You get cured. Um, physical, uh, I will tell you the truth, ayahuasca, um, how I did it is I had to go into a detox and just detox myself five days do a detox and you got to be totally serious and totally be into it and you do ayahuasca and you ask for the healing and when you purge you purge out all the negativity and think of all the bad stuff coming out of you and then I did San Pedro also that week so I give uh, both to the ayahuasca and San Pedro and uh, I've never had the desire to ever touch it again the spirits came to me they tore me apart put me back together piece by piece and they said you know, you know, you're good, you just got to work with it, as uh, in the past, I've done it before five years ago, I did it eight years ago, and what happened was I did the ayahuasca, it healed me also, I did the same thing, I was cured, and somebody came to my house, and it's almost like starting over, starting your life over, like before you ever even touched drugs, you weren't addicted to it, uh, you were addicted to it after, you know, uh, so it makes you reset your DNA to like before you ever even started. So it was the curiousness again where somebody came to my house with, you know, black tar heroin. And I was like, oh wow, I never did that before. You know, so it was curious and I was like, ah, oh, okay, a guy gave me a free sample and boom. I was like, okay, let me do this and uh, I'll, if I come addicted to it, I'll do ayahuasca again and get cured. You know, and uh, it was a bit you know, it was my head, so what happened is I did, and boom, I was off to the races again, and uh, I didn't do ayahuasca, and then I went on a little run, so 
I did uh, fail on my first time, and uh, uh, but it, it helped me for a long time. I was totally cured and everything. I mean cured, and it was just, you know, just like your first time trying it again. You just got to tell yourself, no, you know, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to be back here where I started. And you won't have the desire. You don't have no, like, oh, I need to do it, or, oh, I want to do it, you know. It was just... My first relapse was just curiosity and saying, oh, ayahuasca healed me. I could heal myself again. It's just stupid thinking. And uh, that's the only thing you need to get rid of is that thinking. And uh, second time I cured myself then from the ayahuasca, I knew better. And uh, if anybody came near me or whatever, you know, I always told them to go away. And, and uh, just stayed away from people like that. And uh, as long as you stay away from those type of people and uh, stay around good people, you will never go back to it. And uh, then you lose touch. You lose touch of you, uh, your dealer's names, numbers, everything like that. Uh, stay away from people who are using and uh, don't even let it get on your mind. And you'll be totally healed. And as you come here, if you've got any questions, you could always ask me and I'll help you and heal you. And uh, the longer you stay here, uh, I would say even, you know, 28-day program would be great to do uh, ayahuasca and you'd definitely, definitely be cured. I mean, three days you can do it, but, uh, you know, the longer the better. And it also heals your depression, anxiety, and everything else. You're going to go back to your country, wherever you are, and you're going to start a new life. And, and those who are addicted, uh, I will help you and tell you what to do further. And things you need to uh, stay away from and people you should stay with you know it's the good and the bad so uh, it's not a magic pill it's not a magic drink that just works like that you got to also work with it and the spirits will help you and it's amazing what the spirits can do for you and uh, thank you so much for watching for uh, watching the uh, videos and uh, hopefully I will see you here and uh, just to have the uh, friendship and, uh, you know, everybody's welcome to come to my place, my house in Iquitos, Peru. I'll pick you up myself at the airport or have somebody pick you up. And, uh, or you could take a motor uh, taxi and right to uh, Kilometer 9, Los Delfines, and uh, ask for Vikingos. And uh, they will tell you exactly where we're at. And uh, you can uh, see from there. And uh, try it out. And, uh, you're going to have, I'm telling you, new wings. You're going to be born again. And uh, this is something you'll never forget in your entire life.